Hi guys, welcome to a hey Math group. In this video, we're going to learn how to simplify radical expressions. So let's say that you have this a square root of 98 plus a square root of 72 minus 13 and then a square root of 2. In order for you to add or subtract or do anything with this expression, we need to rewrite a square root of 98, a square root of 72, and here I don't have to do anything because 13 times the square root of 2, there's nothing else I can do. So the trick is to find out anytime you have a square root, you want to always think of 4, like a square root of 4 is 2, you want to think of uh, a square root of 16, which is equals to 4, a square root of 25, which is equals to 5, and so on. Basically, you want to rewrite your radical so you can go ahead and simplify it. So the best thing to do is to figure it out what is the perfect square that we have here. Well, if I divide 98 by 2, I get that 98 is also the same as the square root of 49 times square root of 2. Awesome. Well, a square root of 49 is also 7. Moreover, when I do the same with 72, I see that it is a square root of 36 times 2. I'm not doing anything illegal. The only thing I'm doing is just rewriting my expression. So let's see what we have. Remember, we have a square root of 49 times 2, which is the same as 98, a square root of 36 times square root of 2, which is 72, and I cannot do anything with this guy, so I'm just going to leave it by itself. Now I know that the square root of 49 is 7, the square root of 36 is um, 6, and then 13, I just leave it the same. Look how beautiful. I can now add and subtract every single term because everyone has the same square root. So let's do it. 7 plus 6 is going to be 13, and then 13 square root of 2 minus 13 square root of 2 is just 0. Awesome. Thank you so much for doing such an amazing job. Please don't forget to watch our other videos. And also, thanks so much for learning.